In our first show of the season, one of our players will get the putt for a lot of cash. In fact, he could win up to $5,000. That's right, $5,000. When? Today on Winning Golf. Winning Golf. Look at this putt, guys. What we play. I shot. Working on my short game each and every day. I'm near the green again. That's where the action all begins. Winning golf. Everybody wins. That's right. Everybody wins. Winning golf is brought to you by SAP. SAP helps companies run like never before. Run better with SAP. Hi everyone and welcome to another thrilling season of Winning Golf where everybody wins and speaking of winners, I am excited and thankful to announce that SAP America will be back as Winning Golf's 2013 title sponsor. Believe me, everything including Winning Golf runs better with SAP. I'd also like to welcome back our Champions Pitch sponsors, Infinity of Armour and Infinity of Westchester. This season, we hope to send one of our champions home in a brand new Infiniti G37 convertible. What a gorgeous car. And finally, Cleveland Golf will return as our Skills Challenge sponsor and once again provide an amazing grand prize at the Winning Golf Championship. So with all this excitement, let's get this season started. And what better place to start than right here at beautiful Cedar Brook Country Club. Cedarbrook Country Club, a gorgeous private club located in historic Bluebell, Pennsylvania, has its own very unique history. Cedarbrook Country Club is a direct outgrowth of Stenton Country Club, which was founded in 1909 in the Chestnut Hill section of Philadelphia. In 1919, the club purchased a tract known as Cedarbrook Farm. This farm was turned into a golf course by famed architect A.W. Tillinghast and later redesigned by Donald Ross. With those design principles in mind, a new larger tract of land was sought for a permanent home. In 1961, 210 acres of land was purchased in Bluebell, characterized by the Wissahickon Creek running through it. In this location, renowned Massachusetts golf course architect William Mitchell was hired to design the course using the principles of Tillinghast and Ross, which we know today as Cedarbrook Country Club. The golf course is, is a great golf course. We're very, very proud of it. We've um, just finished some extensive renovations on our bunkers and some of our greens as well. It is in this location that Cedarbrook Country Club truly became recognized as a complete country club, offering its membership a championship golf course, a spacious 25 meter pool with a diving well, a tennis complex with four hard and two hard true courts, and a 25,000 square foot clubhouse. Today, Following the recent renovation of the clubhouse, along with the addition of a beautiful pavilion overlooking the 18th green, Cedarbrook Country Club now offers one of the superior facilities in the entire region. We're a family-oriented country club that's been in existence for over 100 years. We have 220 acres of a park-like setting. Of course, the cornerstone of activity centers around the breathtaking golf course, which from the tips measures over 7,000 yards. The scenic layout provides its golfers with four sets of tees, 13 bridges spanning the Wissahickon Creek, lakes, ponds, two large practice areas, expansive greens and bunkers, and abundant wildlife. This meticulously maintained par 72 golf course is enjoyed by golfers who feel challenged by the design, but not overwhelmed by too severe of a layout. It is simply a course that you never get tired of playing. Cedarbrook also provides its members and guests with a state-of-the-art practice facility, including an oversized driving range, a well-manicured putting green, and even a short game practice hole. The experienced and professional golf staff provides a well-stocked pro shop, unique tournaments and instructional programs for men, women, and juniors, as well as first-class service to members and guests on a daily basis. In addition to the outstanding recreational outlets, the club is proud to be recognized within the Philadelphia community as a club that provides outstanding cuisine served professionally. Whether you enjoy a light fare luncheon by the pool or a gourmet dining experience in the Cedarbrook Room, you are sure to be pleased with the attention to detail and quality in the restaurants of the club. The clubhouse has three main dining rooms plus a grand ballroom, which allows the dedicated and professional clubhouse staff to accommodate member and non-member groups ranging in size from 10 
to 225. One of the uh, attractions that, that I had and the Keller family has had, you know, to Cedarbrook is the staff and the food. Uh, the staff is amazing, um, the service is great, and we really enjoy the food. If interested in learning more about membership or scheduling a golf outing, wedding, private party, or business function, please call 215-646-9410 or check out the web www.cedarbrookcc.org. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks. I'm on the tee today with Jeff Fulner from Adams Golf. Jeff, welcome to Winning Golf. Go, Doug, glad to be here today. Jeff, uh, Adams seems to be on the cutting edge every year with new technology. What is new in 2013? Well, clearly our technology and playability this year is black and white, Doug. I like that. Okay. First of all, we have the V4 uh, series of hybrids and hybrid iron sets. Um, maximum forgiveness in the head, very high launch conditions, slot technology uh, gives you more forgiveness with a trampoline effect. That's, that goes throughout the line of hybrids and fairway woods. A guy can get either or a gal uh, forged irons with this set or all hybrid set for okay. maximum forgiveness. Okay. We go over to the Super S line of irons, hybrids, fairway woods, and drivers. This is the meat and potatoes of our line this year. Okay. Hybrids very easy to hit. Uh, very, they use very good graphite, good steel shafts in them. They're a nice value. It integrates into a complete bag of clubs. If somebody wants all the clubs, they can get all that technology mixed into a nice bag of clubs. And the, and the Adams Woods, Jeff, are known for getting the ball up in the air easily? They are. Ever since the advent of the tight lies, our fairway woods have been very low profile and very uh, high launching. Excellent. But the slot technology doesn't have to have that ballooning trajectory that you, you used to get with a high spinning head. Excellent. Okay. And how about for the better player? Now, I know we talked about the mid and maybe higher handicapper. Yes. You have something special for the low handicapper. We do. Um, Adams has come out with the CMB iron this year. Incorporates some technology, two steel rods, or tungsten rods, or forged into the head to add to the forgiveness of the face, even though it's a small playable club. We won the gold medal in Golf Digest for this club in the players category. We're very proud of that. Well, Adams Golf always has special equipment each year. I hope you have a great year in 2013, and I thank you for being on the tee today. We thank you for all your support, Doug. And don't forget to take the Easy Million Challenge at your local retailer or pro shop because we're getting the golfing world an extra million yards this year. And now it's time for the Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge, brought to you by Cleveland Golf. Cleveland Golf, how the game should feel. Now let's meet our competitors. Rusty Lorenzon, Peter Roach, Martin Klein, Ryan McMichael, Steve Eisenhart, Mike Carey, Pat Hopkins, Ian Schindeldecker, Chris Boyle, Rod Sullivan, Dennis Enoch, Mike Hall, Mike Boyle, Lonnie Davis. Well, Pat Hopkins, thank you for serving as our host today, and it's just great to have a first-class company like Quantum back on Winning Golf. Well, Doug, thanks a lot for having us back again. It's just a great golf experience, and especially today here at the Cedarbrook uh, and, and Bluebell, great place, and you guys do a great job, so thanks for having us back. Well, thank you, Pat. And earlier this morning, you mentioned that Peter Roach is the best putter in this group, so Peter, here's the deal for you. I've got two dozen Strixon Z-Star golf balls. This is the same golf ball that Vijay Singh, Keegan Bradley, and Graham McDowell play. All you got to do is roll on a 10-foot putt, and I give you two dozen golf balls. You up for the challenge? Absolutely. Let's go, guys. Woo! <laughs> Peter Roach putting from 10 feet for two dozen Strixon Z-Star golf balls. Oh, looks good. It's going right. It's got a chance. Oh, just over the edge. Wow, well, Peter, good try. You didn't win the golf balls, but when we come back, one of these guys could win up to $5,000. You won't want to miss that. What do 16% larger grooves feel like? 
What does a rotational face pattern feel like? How about dimensionally optimized laser milling? It feels like the most advanced spin technology ever engineered into a single club face. The new 588 Rotex Wedge from Cleveland Golf feels like the best wedge we've ever built, because that's exactly what it is. Golf isn't just what we do, it's all we are. You can feel it in our gloves and when you walk in our shoes. We know how to be light, comfortable, flexible, and how to make every day playable. And when you're a player, you wear the mark. FJ, the mark of a player. Prizes and tee gifts for the Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge provided by Srixon Golf Balls. Play a better ball, Srixon. See more putters, hide the red dot, see more. Haas Jordan Umbrellas, golf and specialty umbrellas made from the finest quality materials. Doug Hendricks Wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman Collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. Everybody wins. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Well, guys, you ready to putt for some cash? Yeah! Great. Well, here's the deal. Pat Hopkins is going to pull one name out of the hat. That player will then spin the wheel to see what he's putting for. The amounts range from $1,000 to $5,000. And, guys, all you got to do to win is make a 30-foot putt. You've all done that before, right? Absolutely. All right. So, Pat, who's our lucky contestant? All right. There you go. His name is Mike Hall. Mike Hall, come on down. Congratulations, Mike. Thanks. Let's give that wheel a good spin. It's got to right. go around twice. Here we go. Where it lands, nobody knows. But he's going to be parting for a lot of cash. And Mike is parting for $1,000. Outstanding. Good luck. Let's go win some cash. Excellent. We're ready to go. This exciting putting contest is sponsored by our friends from U.S. Hole in One. Mike Hall is putting from 30 feet for $1,000. He's got a good setup. His eyes are on the inside of the golf ball, which I like. It's a downhill 30-footer. Here it comes. It's going right at it. It's got a chance just on the edge. Oh, what a great effort by Mike Hall. Well, we didn't give away the cash, but the great news is we have a ton of prizes to give away in the Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge. So let's get round one underway. Our Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge takes place on the beautiful but fast 18th green at Cedarbrook Country Club. Our competitors will showcase their short game skills with some challenging shots in four preliminary rounds. If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important Survivor Round. Our top two winners in the Survivor Round will compete in an up-and-in competition to determine this week's champion. Round one is a 40-foot chip shot from the first cut off the green. Mike Hall started things off well. This is above the hole. This should come down a little bit. Well done, Mike. Rod Sullivan with some nice touch on this shot. Boy, this got the line. We'll get to the hole just a few feet away. What a terrific effort by Rod Sullivan. Steve Eisenhart gets his ball to seven and a half feet from the pin. That's a nice effort by Steve Eisenhart. Well done, Steve. Peter Roach is just a little bit better. Bring it in from left to right. Speed looks pretty good, and that's a nice effort by Peter Roach. Well done. But check out this chip from Ryan McMichael. He's a foot and a half away to take the prize. Look at that shot by Ryan McMichael. Round two is a 35-yard pitch that Mike Carey handled well. It's another one on the high side. It's a good touch and a good effort by Mike Carey. Host Pat Hopkins had a nice effort. Pat Hopkins bringing it on the high side. He's got a pitching wedge. It should roll down towards the hole. Looks about pin high. Well done, Pat Hopkins. Ryan McMichael looked to take another round with this pitch. Nice setup. This is rolling towards the hole. And that's a beautiful effort by Ryan McMichael. But Martin Klein says not so fast. Martin Klein going with a gap wedge. And boy, this looks like a great line and great speed. This should be right below the hole. Well done by Martin Klein. 
He's a winner at eight and a half feet. Round three is tricky. A short 15 yard pitch shot from the rough. Lonnie Davis leads us off. Lonnie Davis with a good setup. It's coming in towards the hole. Mike Hall has some skill. Good setup and a good soft touch. A couple of feet from the hole. Well done, Mike Hall. Hey. Dennis Enoch with a good setup. I guess you got a chance. Oh! But Dennis Enoch pitches it to a foot and a half away to take the prize. Up next, we test the putting skills with this 30-footer that Mike Boyle handles. Mike Boyle with his eyes over the ball and a good touch. Just outside of the hole and a great effort by Mike Boyle. Well done, Michael. Ian Schindeldecker shows no fear. It's a very challenging putt, 30 feet above the hole. Pin high, well done. Rod Sullivan rolls it to under two feet away. Rod Sullivan's got a good line. He's got a good speed. It's a beautiful touch. Just coming in towards the hole. Nice stroke by Rod Sullivan. Martin Klein has a sweet stroke. He has his speed. This one has a chance. Look at that effort by Martin Klein. Well done. He's a foot and a half away, but none were better than Steve Eisenhart. Steven Eisenhart with a great setup, a great stroke, and this should nestle right next to the hole. And that's a great effort by Steve Eisenhart. Well done, buddy. He takes the round one foot from the cup. We're not done yet, but first, Doug's going to give our contestants a few pointers in this week's tip. Gentlemen, today I would like to talk about the proper setup for a successful chip shot. And let me give you a definition first. A chip shot is a shot where the ball lands safely on the green, flies one third of the way, and rolls two thirds. So a chip shot rolls. It rolls like a putt. So today I'd like to give you three setup features that will help make your ball roll, okay? All right, here they are. Number one is my ball position. I have three choices. I can play it forward, I can play it in the middle, or I can play it in the back. When I'm chipping, I'm always playing the ball back near my right foot, my back foot. Number two is my body weight. I take about 75% of my body weight and put it on my front leg. I start it there and I leave it there. So when I take the stroke back, there's no weight shift. The weight stays here the entire time. And number three is my hand position. You'll notice my hands are well ahead of the club head and ball. This would be even with the ball. This would be behind the ball. When I'm chipping, my hands are always ahead of the ball. When I come back at impact, you'll notice the same angle exactly the way I started. If I flip my wrist, I'm either going to top it or pop it up in the air. A chip shot rolls, so I must keep my hands ahead of the golf ball. Any questions, guys? Great. I'd love to have a volunteer. How about Lonnie Davis? Lonnie, let's put this tip into action. Let's get set up, please. First is ball position. Let's make sure it's behind middle towards your right foot. Okay, and we can see that it is. Perfect job. Now I'd like to bump about 75% of your weight into your front hip, and I want it to stay there the entire stroke. Okay, then I would like your hands on the club, and I'd like to have your hands ahead of the golf ball. All right, now that's your perfect setup. Now I want you to look at your line, make sure you're happy with your club face and your setup. You can adjust if you need to. All right, I'm going to step away with this wonderful group from Quantum. When you're ready, let it go. Oh, what a beautiful stroke, a beautiful setup right behind the hole. Well done, Lonnie. Thank you. Now that is some winning golf right there. The top two players in our Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge Survivor Round will advance to compete in a one-on-one -on -one up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Players who've won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get it closest to the cup. And check out the shot we have for our competitors. A 25-yard pitch from the rough. Rusty Lorenzon takes a run at the final with this pitch. It's a little deep, that's okay Rusty, good try. Chris Boyle set the bar with this shot. This is going right. This got a chance to hit the hole. Oh, just over the edge. What a terrific highlight by Chris Boyle. Ryan McMichael stepping up and grabbing the first spot in the final with this beauty. And look at this beautiful touch and shot by Ryan McMichael. Awesome. And Dennis Enoch takes the round and the other spot with this great effort. This is coming back towards the hole. This has a chance. Oh, just along the edge. What a great shot. So will it be Enoch or McMichael? Who pitches for a new infinity? We'll find out when Winning Golf, brought to you by SAP, continues.
gather with friends and make it a party at PJ's. With fresh cocktails and a great selection of local craft beer. Order up our famous buffalo wings. Flavored in your choice of seven signature sauces. Philly's number one sports fans catch every game at P.J. Wellahan. Where every seat is the best seat in the house. Find a location near your neighborhood. Visit pjspub.com. I'm Joe Bush, and I know Infinities. Get to know me, and I'll help you get to know Infinities too. Test drive the all new incredible Infinity Q50 at Infinity of Ardmore or Infinity of Westchester. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Proforma Industries, your one source for promotional products, printing services, and e commerce solutions. Legendary headwear, wear what the pros wear, legendary. And by PJ Wheelahan's Pub and Restaurant. Visit one of our restaurants and make it a party at PJ's. Outerwear provided by Footjoy. Whether it's cool, rainy, or windy, make every day playable with Footjoy. It's time now for the SAP Up and In Playoff on Winning Golf. Well, we're down to two, and for our finalists, it's up and in for a bunch of prizes, a slot in the Winning Golf Championship, and a chance to pitch for a brand new Infinity G37 convertible. Our first shot in the SAP Playoff will be a 30-yard pitch shot. It's downhill, very fast, and rolling from left to right. Dennis Enoch will have the honors. Dennis is a network engineer for Synergy, carries a nine handicap, and plays most of his golf in Ramblewood. Well, this is a tough shot, a very fast green. But both of these players have a great touch, and here it comes. It should come left to right, and it's going right at it. Look at this incredible pitch shot by Dennis Enoch. Unbelievable. Right below the hole, leaves himself with a great putt. And now it's Ryan McMichael's turn to try and perform some magic around the 18th green here at Cedarbrook Country Club. Ryan is in technology sales for HA Storage, has a 15 handicap, and plays most of his golf at Downingtown Country Club. He's bringing it in nice and high. It looks pretty soft. Should be below the hole. Maybe just off the fringe of the green, he'll have an uphill putt at it. Well, since Ryan is away, he will have the honors. Should move a little bit from his right to left. And it's just below the hole, so that'll leave him with a nice putt here. So it comes down to this. If Dennis Enoch rolls in his putt, he is the winning golf champion here at Cedarbrook Country Club. It's a beautiful stroke, it's going right at it. Oh, just slips out of the hole. So he will mark that ball. Well, Ryan McMichael is back in it. He needs to make this putt for a three. Got a good setup, a good stroke. And he, oh, just below the hole. A nice little break here in the 18th green. Ryan McMichael parting this for a four. Oh, and it stays above the hole. All right, Dennis Enoch getting over his golf ball. If he rolls this in, he is the winning golf champion at Cedarbrook Country Club. Good setup, good stroke, it's in the hole. And we have a champion, Dennis Enoch is our champion here at Cedarbrook Country Club. Well, Dennis Enoch, you got quite a short game. You made the big shot when it counted. I hope you enjoyed your day with winning golf. Uh, winning golf dog's been great. Uh, the competition out here has been stiff, and, uh, you know, I'm just happy to win. Well, you did a great job, and just so you know, you've already won a lot of great prizes. You also won a slot in the prestigious Winning Golf Championship this fall, and in a couple minutes, you're going to get the opportunity, Dennis, to pitch from 90 feet for a brand-new Infinity G37 convertible. It's an unbelievable car. How do you feel about that? Oh, that's fantastic. The wife needs a new car. Well, let's hope he rolls one in. I got a good feeling about this next shot, so don't touch that remote. We'll be right back with more Winning Golf.
Enjoy one-of-a-kind hospitality at the Desmond Hotel Malvern, a full-service hotel with a staff focused on providing exceptional customer service. It's no wonder our guests say the Desmond Hotel is the best part of traveling. This summer, visit the Sunset Grill at the Desmond. Succulent Maine lobster, live music, and special cocktails. Come see why we're consistently voted the best outdoor dining in Chester County. If it's important to you, trust it to us at the Desmond. Nobody ever called me the next big thing. My whole career I've been sort of overlooked, flying under the radar. Kind of like Cleveland with irons. They don't have some crazy name or gimmick. They just show up when it matters, like me. Introducing Cleveland 588 irons, multiple flight, feel, and forgiveness profiles for the ultimate fit. I guess you can't stay under the radar forever. I'm Joe Bush, and I know Infinities. Get to know me, and I'll help you get to know Infinities too. Test drive the all-new incredible Infinity Q50 at Infinity of Ardmore or Infinity of Westchester. With winning golf, everybody wins. It's time now on winning golf for the Infinity Champions Pitch. Infinity inspired performance. Welcome back to Winning Golf for our final event, the Champions Pitch. Each week our champion will attempt to hole out from 90 feet to win an amazing brand new Infinity G37 convertible. Winning Golf is thankful to have two first class dealerships, Infinity of Ardmore and Infinity of Westchester, sponsoring this exciting event. Our champion, Dennis Enoch, is 90 feet away. If he can hit the pitch shot of his life, he will drive home in a luxurious Infinity G37 convertible. And here it comes. It's flying up towards the hole here. And what a great effort. Just a few feet right of the hole and pin high. What a great effort by Dennis Ena. Wow, what a great way to kick off the 2013 winning golf season. We are certainly grateful for the warm hospitality and terrific venue here at Cedarbrook Country Club. This place is gorgeous. I'd also like to thank our host, Pat Hopkins, and the wonderful team from Quantum for giving us lots of laughs and plenty of highlights. Well, as you can see, we have a lot of excitement to share with you this season. So we invite you to follow Winning Golf TV on Facebook, Twitter, and of course our website, winninggolftv.com. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all next week. Winning Golf is brought to you by SAP. SAP helps companies run like never before. Run better with SAP. Everybody.